Well, good morning. I don't know if it's a good morning for me. Kind of sad morning. The time has come. The time has come where I have to take my car into the shop for service. I'm experiencing some drivetrain issues. Uh, I, honestly, when I first got the car, I, I had the, the, the little bit of a rattle, timing chain rattle there um, during the winter months. And that's progressed into definitely when the outside temperature drops below 50 degrees, it's definitely audible. But if it's, if it's warm, it, you don't hear it as much. Needless to say, you hear it whenever it's warm or cold, but it definitely worse when it's cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this wonderful uh, powertrain warranty, extended warranty I purchased for the car and hopefully get it all figured out. So headed off to the dealership now where I got it from and uh, hopefully they can take care of me. Maybe I can get a cool rental, I don't know. Mustang, probably not. That's all, I can only hope, right? Nah, we'll see. Well, it ain't glamorous. It's not glorious. But it's a car that I got until I figure out what's uh, what's going on with the SHO. <sighs> can you guess what it is? Huh? Could, th does this look, in, look familiar at all to you? Maybe? No? It's a Fusion. Oh, I was really hoping. No, I was. <laughs> I was kind of upset because the uh, the lady that was taking care of me uh, with the with the loaner here, she said that they used to have Mustangs in the fleet, but with everything going on and and the dealership having a lack of inventory, they started digging into their their uh, rental fleet for cars to sell. <laughs> so, guess where that Mustang went? Yep. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Hopefully it won't go, it's not going to take too long to figure this out. I hope. Hopefully it's not as bad as I think it is. And if it is, hopefully they can get done ASAP. Because I, I will have a hard time living without, living without my car longer than a few days. Like, I'm already missing my car. There's just... It's too much fun to drive. It really is. Even if you're just going to the grocery store... It's just fun to drive. This car, this car is just numb. It's not fun to drive at all. You know what this car, th this car is great because it gets, you know, I'm averaging almost at 30 miles per gallon. That's wonderful, you know. Basically, you know, other than that, it's 10 miles per gallon higher average than, than the SHO, but that's where that ends. This is what's called a rolls can hardly, right? It, it rolls down the hill and can hardly make its way back up. Oh, but uh, yeah. So here we are. We are back in the good old SHO. Now, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Uh, well, neither is the correct answer. The reason is because the, one of the biggest reasons I took the vehicle into the dealer was to have them inspect a transmission leak that I was having. So uh, the other day I was flushing the coolant. I noticed, well, there was some transmission fluid on outside the transmission. And as we all know, that's not where it belongs. So uh, that did raise some concern. So of course, uh, I'm working on the end of my, on the tail end of my warranty. So before that runs out, I figured I'd take uh, advantage of it. And take it into, you know, the certified mechanics who have all the special tools and equipment to diagnose the problem. Since I could not, because I did not know where it was coming from. But, uh, you know, when you, take, when you take your vehicle into the dealership, it just never fails to always have the runaround on things. Um, it's so frustrating. You know, I even worked, you know, in the business briefly. Uh, and sold cars, and even as a salesman, it's frustrating how many hoops you got to jump through just to have get stuff done. But that's the industry; that's how it works. And well, 
whether it's right or wrong, it's just the way we have to deal with it. So taking it in, uh, you know, they had it for three days and they determined they can't figure out where the leak's coming from either. Go figure. Wow. Man, I took it to them so they could figure it out, but they couldn't figure it out either. So what we have to do now is they put some type of fluorescent dye in the transmission fluid. And what I uh, suppose they are hoping happens is uh, after a thousand miles that they want me to drive, that they will be able to trace, I guess, with a UV light or something uh, where this fluid is actually coming from. Uh, so we're going to try to get a thousand miles on the vehicle ASAP. We're going to take the vehicle back to the dealership and hopefully <laughs> they can figure out where this leak's coming from. Uh, so that and uh, they, they uh, I need to make it very clear to them that there is indeed a brief rattling on a cold startup, which they claim there wasn't, which is probably either they were they were trying to deny it to avoid uh, doing the repair since it is expensive, or they just are too stupid to understand that it's only on cold start because the oil and there's a lack of oil pressure in the system keeping tension on the chains, which is what the whole problem is to begin with. So, <laughs> we're just going to have to wait. I will make another update on this as soon as one becomes available. So hopefully you enjoyed this little snippet of the update on the show and I'm going to try to get more content out here shortly. Things have been a little challenging, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more content on the FOMO Cobra YouTube channel.